More minutes until Nooks closes. Nine more minutes. Man, I gotta get chat up. <clears throat> Much later than I planned on being, but shit just kind of happened today. So it's just going to be Animal Crossing today and no Smash. Maybe tomorrow I'll just do a Smash stream. Hi, Hugo. Oh, god damn it, sounds on on my phone because I was playing Pokemon earlier. Let me turn that down, sorry about that. This is Tom Nook, it's an Oh yeah, I got my town hall now, so we get... Sex dog. <laughs> Finally. In two weeks is a bug off. I'll have to stream that. Maybe we can all do the bug off together. Although then I risk not getting the trophy, so that'd probably not be a good idea. <laughs> Maybe next year's bug off. So, well, as Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the residential service. It's about time you showed up. So much to learn, I'll do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. I'm sure. Get the plaza some much needed improvements. There are all of the, yeah, the latest updates. Okay, I should probably hurry up because uh, the store is going to close. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hail Isabel. Whip your tits out. <clears throat> Taking gold. This is an insane three-hour event. So if you want the gold trophy, plan for it. Also, something tells me that I can't get scorpions anymore because it's August. I think it was like the ass end of July when I first started streaming this. I haven't been seeing scorpions lately. Yeah, I had to move my fruit trees so that they can grow. Once they finish growing, I'm going to move them all back down here. Hello there. I got my house upgraded again, too. Um, I'll show it off next stream, because um, it's not ready to show off yet. Oh my god, this is a fucking art... I need to have, like, an art room. They should appear until October, but you haven't seen any either. Uh, they're just really rare. They're really rare. new oh I should look I keep forgetting to look at the wallpapers and floors in here hmm I 
have a purple wall that would kind of get good to this. My twilight room. Which I will be doing like a twilight themed bedroom for my upstairs when I get my upstairs done. Right now I just have that back room. Alright, nothing too groundbreaking in there right now. Not today. I can't wait until I can start getting that upgraded. Apparently it takes like 30 days before you can get the first Nook upgrade for the store. It's time-based instead of money-based. The new resident services building. We have lots of new miles items available. Excellent. Time based, yeah, the shop. It takes 30 days to get the first um, Nook shop upgrade. Apparently. Like 30 days after it opens, not 30 days of playing. Lots of new miles redemption items available, plus new services for Nook Miles Plus members to earn five times more miles. Ooh. Sounds good. Oh! Okay. Oh, she's open too. I should take a look at what she's got today. Spent 250,000 bells. Hello. Welcome to new improved resident services. Building city spell is here to take good care of us. It takes a month, but that's how long it takes for you to save about 250k. Ah. Shit, the thing is, I never find myself spending all that money in there because there's never anything I want to buy, you know? Today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of my new job. Oh, you, you've been my secretary before in New Leaf. I'm sure you'll do fine, Isabel. <clears throat> I'm already smitten with the island life, so you can count on me to give me the, my uh, give my absolute best. Isabel finally got her island vacation she wanted. Split our duties here to better support you all. Simply speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Island active for 30 days before the store can upgrade. Okay, so you have to spend the 250k and wait 30 days. Oh boy. Guess I'm gonna dump money into trash I don't want. <laughs> uh, it matters, resident support. See the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush. Over in two swishes of a raccoon's tail. Now we can introduce you to some new services. Have a moment, please sit at my counter. Okay, what about Isabel though? I don't want to sit at your counter, I want to sit at Isabel's counter. With general issues, issues face with others. Change the island tune. Change the island flag. Is this where? But is this just for? Oh, I was really hoping to have like a. I've visited May Mabel once now. I was hoping to get that amiibo functionality to make a villagers move in. I have that tower tag I could use. I 
this for now. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else later. Thank you for your submission. <laughs> I'll have to change the island tune too and I can look up what some good tunes are. Um, no, Harv is the- oh, I need the campsite built. That's right. I did look into it, and there was, like, something about a campsite. Damn. It's gonna be a while, then, before I can move in people I want. In the meantime, people I don't want are gonna move in. Make up for that. We're giving any consumers access to the Nook Stop today, 500 miles. Access history. Your bonus will still be set seven days tomorrow. Cool. Bell voucher. Sell in the shop for 3,000 bells. Huh. Ultimate pocket stuffing. Fuck yeah. Ooh, these are nice. Drinking fountain. Oh, man. Some good stuff here. A fucking well? A fountain? Oh, this is nice shit. Oh. Robot hero is here. Oh, my God. Drink machines really dress this place up now. Oh my god, I can have this in the playground. Oh my god. Ooh! <gasps> fucking Godzilla? We got fucking Godzilla in this shit? Oh my god. There's some good shit here. I think my first priority should be inventory upgrade for sure. I need this. But we don't need a hero. Godzilla's a hero. He's gonna defend the shore. Organizing. I bet I can carry a lot of stuff now. Oh, yeah. This is something I've been needing. That'll come in handy on orchard harvesting day. Is that the last upgrade or can I get more? <laughs> I'm assuming that's the last one. If I can get another row, that's fucking great. That's the last one. Okay, that's still. I'm happy with that. That's con I'm content. <laughs> this this is looking like a fucking gorilla's album. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Let's see where it is. All right, let's see what else I can afford here with my miles. I'm gonna get these two fences while they're available. I'm probably gonna go with the stone fence. I really like how that looks. I might go for like stone gates uh, and fence, uh, stone fencing with like a dirt path. I think that'd look really nice. Go for some stone bridges once I can get rid of those shitty wooden ones. Okay, the drinking fountain's nice, but. Well, oh man, this looks nice. Pr 
opening up my town finally. I wish you could select multiple in here and just have your total go. Okay. I'm gonna work up some nook miles and I'm gonna get some more stuff. I'm, I'm gonna try to get like everything I want tonight. Oh, only up to five. Oh, that's annoying. It's perfect. It really encompasses this town. Emphasis on the cum. I'm gonna get banned from Twitch one of these days. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. I don't have boobies, so I can't get away with as much. So pay a visit to Maple over there. I really wanted to get her shop unlocked. I'm finding all the money right now. I wish you would just add these to your thing. Although I suppose it does make it so you could buy them for friends. I don't have a fishing rod. I keep forgetting to replace my one that broke. A hot item for a fortune. Well, too late for that, because the store is closed now. That's a nice times five to get. If I did that, you couldn't sell them on the internet for hundreds of note tickets. Build a chair. Oh, I'm guessing you want in. All right, hang on. I'll open up. <laughs> to think Animal Crossing of all games would end up getting like some sort of economy. <laughs> I'm into that. Actually able to leave here with the gate open and you guys should just come in freely or do I have to stay in here so that the stream isn't just me sitting on a chair like last time I can leave okay that's cool that's really cool so I can just open the I'm just gonna start leaving the gate open whenever I stream then and if people want to hop in they can I trust you guys not to fuck with my island. There are 
things you can't do with the gate open. Or can- Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can't like, furnish or anything like that. I should start looking for my fossils for today. I'll have to put them in storage because I won't be able to donate or assess them, but... That beetle looks different from ones I've seen. Pretty sure this is different anyway. Earth boring dung beetle. It's not so boring after all. I think I do have this one already. Oh, don't don't cheat by giving me all the fossils. Um, and I, I appreciate the gesture, but a big part of the game for me is completing the museum. And if someone just completes my museum for me, it would kind of suck all the fun out. Yeah, because the only way to drop them on the ground would be... For, dropping them on the ground would be furnishing, and you can't furnish in this mode. You can't just drop them on the ground as an item. So, yeah. Tiger beetle? I think I already have this one. Yeah, I already have this one. And just to make sure before I get rid of this earth boring dung beetle, I do think I have this one though. Drone. Diving. Stink bug. How many green beetles are there? Oh wait, it's purple, I'm dumb. Yeah, I already got this one. You place, then open the gate. Yeah, but... Eh. Right, I need to... catch. That's one I haven't seen before. I should fix my fishing rod so I can do some fishing. This is how you break your net. I'm not making mistakes here, I'm just giving a tutorial. This is this is what not to do with your butterfly net. Yeah, I really like these gates. I don't know what I'm gonna go with though. Bamboo wall decoration. Okay, fishing rod. I just I made a vaulting pole by accident. I I see that pole shape and I click I, I keep forgetting this I keep forgetting about the damn vaulting pole. Yeah, 
Hugo's going fucking mental. Okay. Alternatively, I have that other workbench over by the store. If ever it ends up taking that long again. You know, I just realized too, alternatively, another way you could trade in this game is using the recycling bin. I imagine other people can access that. Yeah, you can open it while this is... Uh, can you not put stuff in it though? Oh no, this is take only, so never mind. Net, rod, and slingshot only get used if they work. Oh! That explains why it took so long for my slingshot to break, despite how often I just spam it. <laughs> for a good while, I thought the slingshot was actually unbreakable. balloons. That's not bad at all. So, I found out there's more breeds of, uh... Oh, I don't have my Ocarina on me. It's in storage. I wish that it was playable like it was an Ocarina of Time style, like having the specific buttons, but instead it just plays a random note, which is a pity. It'd be kind of cool if they expanded on the music system, made it play more like Zelda, and maybe add more instruments like a guitar. That'd be kind of cool if people could like go online and do like a... Wait, oh, there are more instruments in this. Still, it'd be nice if they'd expand on it in an update and give you more control. Imagine if people like banded together online and formed little bands. That'd be really cool. Yeah, they should totally expand on it and have, like, a proper music system. Have it work like it did in Zelda. Oh, yeah, one of my new neighbors. I got Bangle. Oh, eel. Come on, escalators, escalators, escalators. That's one I already got, too. Garbage. I can sell it. Tomorrow, anyways. I got a moray eel, um, donated in my museum already. I don't know if that's what you're calling so rare. Um, I missed that because I was going through my nook miles. Ah, it is. Yeah, I got one of those donated recently. Now, is that the last kind of eel I gotta worry about? Or am I all set on eels now? This is the one I already checked. I think it's just those. Okay. I haven't been in my museum in a while. I should take a look at it, see how it's looking now. Haven't really spent much time in this side. Haven't really spent much time in this museum, period. I just kind of come in, donate, and then leave. 
This is looking a lot more lively. I really want a museum like this, like in real life. Worm. Oh yeah, I finally got one. I guess that kind of ruins the joke I was going to do. The next time I saw an Atlas moth, I was going to charge at it with an axe. <laughs> People are gonna be like, what the fuck? And I'd be like, don't worry, I already donated one. Oh, there's more. Holy shit. Oh, there's like a butterfly room with a fountain. This is nice. All these stag beetles circle around going, fight, 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 fight. The fossils. tomorrow. Yeah, I never bother with turnips. I always have bad luck with them. I'm not exactly a lucky person, as you guys know. Oh, this is achievements. Fuck, yeah, I'm gonna have to then. Oh, hey, I got a couple pieces of T-Rex. I knew I had the skull. I didn't know I had that much of him. He's got, like, the arms. Also, is this all... Oh, my God. Diplo in past games was just a three-piece dinosaur that was shrunken down. Now it's, like, a ton of pieces. Holy shit. to get like all these like pieces of neck that's crazy that's gonna look awesome when it's done tail torso neck and skull This one's missing a left arm and a left leg. I think it's missing a head too. Yeah, it's just like an antler. My art gallery only has two things in it, so I'm not going to bother looking at that. Look how small that thing is. Oh yeah, I fixed my eyebrows that I did with the face paint feature. Looks a little bit more like the show. It's 
a little less empty in here now. There's a few things. This is one of my big boys that I caught. couple of sharks. Oh, hey, I love how the smaller fish are swimming underneath that shark. That's a nice detail. They'll actually do that in reality. Uh, smaller fish will sometimes swim underneath a shark out of its sight lines, and they'll do that to, like, keep predators away from them, because nothing wants to fuck with that shark. The museum's my favorite thing in Animal Crossing, so I'm really glad to see how expansive it is now in this new one. Uh, I'm gonna do some more fishing. I should water my plants, actually. And then I'll do some fishing. You bringing out the water and can't reminded me. I've never been too good about watering my plants because I don't care about as, uh, flowers as much as some people. But there are achievements around it, and you do kind of have to make the town look nice in order to... got my rare flowers up here out of the way. I've pretty much removed most of the trees up here. I'm just gonna turn this place into a massive flower field. Like this whole, like, northern section. This will be where I farm beauty points. <laughs> These are my rare flowers that I bought yesterday from Leaf. All my fossils, like, spawning up here, which is a little annoying. I've been trying really hard to cross-breed uh, these to get a pink one, so that if Fluff ever gets the game, I could give her her flower. Fluff would like this game a lot. I like red flowers, personally. Red's my favorite color. Oh, I already had that out. Whoops. Yeah, I'm hoping to have everything, just for, like, the sake of completion, and I know that having, like, the rare stuff probably helps your points out with the town.
New catch, I think. Horse mackerel. Never mind, I already have that. Rare isn't so much. DIY projects add more beauty points than a bought and placed object. Really? Okay, noted. Luckily, a lot of that fancy stuff I want to get from the Nook stuff is uh, DIY projects. Come on, bite. To cut a crawfish, or else it's a lobster and I'm a giant. Is that new? I think I already have it. I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have that. I was looking at it in the museum. Looking in the fish section would probably help. Yeah, I have it. I'm just gonna release the stuff I need. I don't need. This looks like it could be that koi fish, too. I'd like to get one of those. Those look cool. And I haven't donated one yet. Carp. I think I've dealt with enough carps for one day. I did community day for Magikarp. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. I got one shiny and it isn't even good. At least I finally got it, but I really wanted a good one. Maybe in December they'll do another one of those uh, all community day things. And I'll have another chance. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's my friends list. It's hard to see what it's giving me notifications for. When the on-air is covering it. If you send it to Sword and Shield, it can at least be useful there. Hmm. It's a pity then that I evolved it. I didn't think of that. I, sh I should have thought of that. I shouldn't have evolved it, because I could have evolved it in Sword and Shield and gotten two entries to my decks. mackerel. Yeah, the crummy thing about the, uh, the, uh, Magikarp I got, the shiny one, all of its IVs were perfect except attack. Or at least almost perfect. And its level was really low. So I have to power it up even if I did want to use it. I wish that the health IV was the low one. 
and that attack wasn't the low one. That would have been preferable. In, in my opinion, I think the HP IV is worthless. Like, between minimum HP IV and max HP IV, you'll get like 10 extra HP out of it. It's, it's not that big of a help. Yeah, but I'm interested in doing raiding, but I don't have any good raid Pokemon to work with. I have plenty of good gym squatters as is, but I also want stuff that's good for raiding. I wish I had missed out on GoFest while it was online this year. I, I really regret missing that, because Unknown is the only Gen 2 I'm missing. But the whole shit with the... I was planning on buying a ticket, but then the whole shit with my car popped up, and I ended up deciding not to do it. Oh, I guess it saw me just as I went to pull it away, so I scared it off, damn it. Boy, it really likes giving me these days. And horse macro. The thumbnail is just gonna be my character and just a ton of horse macro and dace all over the screen. That's gonna be the thumbnail. look for uh, clams so that I can maybe make some bait to throw into the pond. Here's one. to uh see the CNN articles on this one Trump supporter is serial clam grabber oh, it's just another tiger tiger beetle wait what Oh, okay, I accidentally tried to move it when I was going to craft. I thought for a second there I said I couldn't craft while someone was here, like I did earlier. Okay. Oh, the table actually looks kind of nice. I should put that in my house.
I kind of like this grill. I might make that later when I can move my house. Oh, I should have talked to Nook because he wanted stuff from me. I'm gonna make these four things a bait. When you speed this up, the way your character moves when you speed it up, I'm just reminded of penis music. Good impression of penis music. I should just stop opening my mouth. No, 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 stop crafting. The sooner I can move my house, the better, because I really want to move to that island and maybe eventually work on getting a bridge to it. This looks like a big one. I'm feeling it my jimmies. Black bass. Suck my fucking black bass. And you guys said that uh, some fish are actually only show up if you threw bait. I'll have to get up a list of fish and bugs by season. No. Oh my god, I got a froggy! Froggy! I found him! Got a frog, it's a new neighbor, and I have some apologizing to do. That is... I didn't think of that. The... Oh, okay, gives you a better chance to rare it. This, this is something I didn't think about. Some villagers are frogs. What is, like, the ethics of donating this to a museum? Like, this, this is some, like, really fucked up shit going on here, if you think about it. frog now what we need the first time you catch a frog you should be giving a DIY recipe for frogs legs so you can eat them in front of your frog neighbors <laughs> uh, this is probably gonna be another frog I was really hoping for a koi. Oh, come on, turn around. There are octopus in the ocean and hamsters in cages you can get. Is this hamster villagers? 
And also, I forgot about octopus villagers. You know what? You're now a saltwater frog. ready tomorrow, I believe. At least ready to move. And the fruit won't be ready for a few days after that. I mean, you catch as many dates as I have, and you start to get a little fed up with the dupes. <laughs> and you start deciding, maybe I want to throw them in the ocean. Besides, if there's anything I've learned from Sonic Adventure 2, it's that frogs are invincible. They can eat magical rocks that are twice their size and swim in both fresh and salt water and constantly chomp down on a fishing hook. Wow, that's kinda fucked up. Big, why are you using a fishing hook to catch your friend? Looks like, uh... Orange is on the way here. way he'll learn to never run away again. Now listen here, Foggy. You better stay here by my house or I'm gonna have to get the whole hook again. <laughs> Keep this up and I'll have to lock you in the basement. Really? Oh, that sucks. You're gonna have to get terraforming them before you can get anything. And in the countless days it's gonna take, countless weeks to maybe months it's gonna take before you can get there, the seasons are gonna change and you're gonna miss shit. That's annoying. Then again, you have no problem with playing with the clock, so. Oh, please be my koi fish. It looks like it could be. Please stop turning away from me. Oh, it always does that. patient enough for this. <laughs> I feel like if I pull out my fishing rod now, it's going to turn just as I do it. Okay, here we go. Gotcha. He's being a koi. And it's another fucking catfish. I wish I could bury these things in the sand. Use them to generate flies. I haven't caught flies yet. <laughs> That's another thing I'm gonna need turnips for now that I think of it. I need uh, to let turnip rot so I can get ants and flies. I'll have to leave one on the ground. And walk back. Okay, that looks like it could be a frog, so I'm gonna let you have it. If it's a big boy, though, I need it. I want that koi. Oh, I want 
wonder what trash this will be. for Nintendo to just change its name to Bass because it doesn't matter what color it is. I'm gonna burn down a store if they don't. Uh, Toe Biter over here if anybody needs it. Uh, it's up north. It's just to the west of my island that I'm planning to build on. All yours. Did you already get both kinds of water beetles? Oh, there's another kind of water beetle? Oh, that might be one I don't have then. Well, I already gave it to him. It's okay. Diving beetle and a giant one. Giant water bug. Yeah, I definitely haven't gotten that. The only other water bug I've gotten so far is Pond Skater. Oh, I guess I have some fancy flowers now. Cool. Thank you, whoever planted those. I'm assuming Hugo, because he was asking about my favorite colors earlier. Yes, I got a koi! And my character just mirrored what I said exactly. <laughs> yes, I caught a koi. I don't know why it's so shy. I'm such a bad speller. It's on, she didn't ask for anything. Oh, it's, yeah, I'm remembering wrong, you're right. Um, two flowers planted in front of, uh, Town Hall. Those are nice. Well, whoever planted them, thank you. I especially like that really dark one. Is that supposed to be a black one? It doesn't look black. It's like a really, like a dark purple. Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe it's actually purple. I don't know. It's kind of dark out. I like the color of it, though. Mm -hmm. Going by that size, it's probably another... ...horse mackerel. I don't check the dock often enough. Nope, nothing. These won't grow this close to the water, but when I'm able to terraform, I'll be able to fix that. I'll be able to push the shore out a bit. I'm just gonna leave those there until then. Because even if I dig them up and let them grow somewhere else, you actually can't move a tree next to the water either. So. I tried testing that before doing it. And it says you can't plant the tree there. So. 
That will have to wait until I can terraform. But that's fine, it's only two trees. The fact that it wrecks the symmetry that I worked on over there is a little annoying, but... I almost just accidentally released my koi. Are there still bugs you can get from rocks, or did they remove those because of the whole mining system? Pill bugs are currently out of season. Ah. And no millipedes too, then I take it. Nails only appear when it rains. If only it rained as much in this game as it does in real life where I live. Give me my Florida weather. Sarawana. Oh, what? Oh man, I need to keep doing some searching. Seems there's a lot of ocean fish I still haven't gotten yet then. I felt like I'd gotten everything because I keep getting like the same crap. I think I've just about gotten everything you can deep sea dive for in this time of year. I'll have to look up a list, like I said earlier. What is this? Oh, it's a sea bass. God damn it. I'm mad because lobsters went away at the end of July. If I hadn't saved this for stream, I could have started sooner and gotten a lot of stuff like that. Okay. Sea bass, meat pond. Catfish, meat ocean. Fuck you both. Die. message for today. Do you believe in amazing tea? It just popped into my mind as I was enjoying a cup of tea. Palm tree lamp. So I'm thinking my downstairs for my house, whenever I can get that, I'm gonna do like a little like arcade. I'm gonna have like a gamer room. Gamer!
This fish is being a pro gamer right now. Not pro enough. Oh, it's a squid. Okay. Guess this. If only clam stacked, I'd be digging up every one that I see on site, so I can make a ton of bait. Alright. How much quid are we talking about here? Do you accept shekels? About 75k each since they're like 66k to buy. Alright. Whenever um whenever I actually have my basement, I'll come to you about that. That's a dinky little fish. Look at this little pecker fish. What is this? I'm gonna fish up Kim Jong un's like tiny shriveled little, little pecker. And I'm gonna get banned from Twitch for showing peen. Fish really love avoiding me. You're a cock. Okay, now turn around. Turn around. He's too damn close to the dock, too. He's being a dink. Here we go, here we go, finally. And then I fucking panic when it bit. I'm a dumbass. That was definitely something I didn't have. It's okay though, I got another squid. I have always been so bad at fishing in Animal Crossing. I get really panicky. I always try to like anticipate because sometimes they'll bite and then immediately disappear. What, what? Somebody else is joining? Or maybe somebody's leaving. Um, if you're leaving to grab the arcades, Ange, I can't do that tonight. I don't have the money. I was saying that, like, I, I'll do it when I have basement. Oh, you're selling shit. Okay. I just looked at the chat and saw that. Yeah.
potions right in front of you you can cast. And it's another squid. Yeah, I'm wasting my throwing all these fish away. Yeah, I think that myself a lot too. I just try not to think about it. <laughs> I just want to keep fishing and live my life. <laughs> All I care about is getting new stuff from a museum. I make money elsewhere. My main source of income is going to be the fruit orchard when that's ready. It's going to be something I already have. Sea bass! Oh, no. Red snapper. These are worth 3k, so I might actually hang on to it. And my fishing rod's dead. All the fucking shrimp, uh, squids that I caught. Killed that pretty fast. Don't make that mistake again. Not the vaulting pole. Wait, so hang on. You can plant flowers while on online, but you can't do furniture. Wonder why that is. You know what? There's, there's probably some sort of glitch they're trying to like prevent or something. turn away like they always do. The second I cast, he's gonna run off. Or swim off. I kind of hate fishing on the dock because it can be hard when they're like this close to it. It's like it's where all the good stuff apparently spawns. Here we go. have that one, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth something. And an all flounder. Digging and axe are best friends. Just placing new objects include their rotation or usage. This looks like that little dink fish that got away a bit ago. Probably be something like a seahorse that I already have. Yep, that's exactly what it was.
What do you guys think it is? I'm calling sea bass. It begins the sea bass invasion is here. Luck is just pummeling my pooper today. Hopefully I use up all my bad luck this week. I mean, here tonight. And I get some good news in a week and a half. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. I, I killed a tree for that joke. Quote unquote joke. The real joke is me. Does anything special spawn at the top with the waterfall? Arowana. Like, uh... Is that another big fish like the Arapaima? I actually got one in New Leaf. I just don't remember what it looks like. The name sounds familiar. Alright, I'm gonna catch this beetle because it might be a different one from the tail biter.
giant water bug. Yeah, that's the one I didn't have. I just gave away a bug I didn't have earlier. Well, I have it now at least. And that's what matters. Uh, this is the giant. Oh, oh, and apparently I did have it and I donated it. Well, all right then. Where's the arowana spawn? Does it spawn in the gulf or is it in like the regular ocean? Or maybe you find it on the dock. Oh, it's a river fish. Okay, so Arapaima and Arowana are both river fish. I have Arapaima already, but yeah, I haven't seen this Arowana yet. I'll look for that. That shadow's not nearly big enough, but let's see what this is. Dace. Yes, thank you, game. I did need a reminder that Dace's exist. Size it's definitely not a daze. And going by its position in the river, it wants to test my patience. this cock. This is new. Oh, no, it's not tilapia. caught every time I uh, twice I caught it and I remarked on how tasty they are this must be an exciting stream turn just as I went to pull it. Probably something I already have anyways. Okay, come on. Yeah, it sucks. I'm, I could work all day. I don't have time to play during the day usually. Another turtle. At least I know I can catch another rare at night. Just a matter of one spawning. Which just isn't happening for me right now.
I was on the edge of my seat for a second as it was like wrestling. Thinking, oh, this might be a big one. It was a turtle. Anj says incoming. Is that an arowana? Saddle bitcher. What's it bitching about? Softwood. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. Oh, yes, that. Hugo's catching all the rares and all I can get is squid. <laughs> I think I caught like five sea bass in a row at one point or something like that. At least I caught a koi. You know what I miss right now? I miss being able to stuff stuff inside of your mail. As like extra storage. That'd be great right now, cause... Oh boy. Lots of coming and going. Big ones. How did this P 
piece of wood get here next to my baby tree? Probably, someone probably dropped that to make room. Throw in my trash. They're trash in my yard. Something good. Ah, uh, tilapia again. Fish are a lot harder to scare away now than they were in previous games. Used to be if you ran anywhere within like 10 feet of the river, the fish would swim away. Stop giving me turtles! Stop giving me turtles. Uh, Hugo gets all these like, fancy fish. Throwing like hundreds of thousands of bells and repeats down in the water. Wahoo! 
Wait, really? You you can't you're not even allowed to use the box? And it's another snapper. Oh, I should talk to Nook and see what he wants. I keep forgetting to do that. I meant to do it earlier. Well, on the bright side of you guys leaving and coming back over and over again is I'm getting the host of the most achievement farmed. Five more visits from you guys and that'll be done. There was none. Use it for whatever you like. Three hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars. It's nice doing business. shop from her and then to look at what she has. Oh, but she's gone. She's only here for a short time. Damn it. I missed out on that. Wow, 
Lots and lots of turtles today. Nothing but turtles. Turtles and squids. And shit fish. I get another goby, I'm gonna drop a stool in its gaping mouth. I'm gonna be known as that streamer who gets mad at fucking Animal Crossing. I was just waiting to witness. You getting that fish that I've been running in circles for for the past half hour now? The hard part is this is not exactly like past games, like they don't really seem to have much, uh, as much range of fish sizes as before. Like I remember in the original Animal Crossing on GameCube, if there was a giant fish in the water, you knew it because its shadow was massive. This one it's like you get... Like I'm- Oh, a new one! Yes, I got that, um... Saddle bur b uh, bitcher. The Karen fish, as I'll call it. Instead of the bitcher, because this is a family stream. There's five sizes. It's very unnoticeable to me. I- I probably did miss a fossil, Hugo. Um, I didn't really spend much time looking for one. I did. Ah, that's why I'm always so panicky with fish. That one just bit and ran. I bet that was a arowana. The big ones like doing that. Uh, I wish other players showed up on the map. Oh, I just heard you changing a tool on the left. There you are. Ah, uh, yeah. Six tiny. Small, medium, large, squiggly, large are the eels, and then large with fin. Yeah, like the original Animal Crossing, there was like a giant class. And they were like noticeably huge, like they took up like half the space in the pond. This, it's like, this in Animal Crossing is what you'd associate with a bass. But then there was like the big ones that were like shadows twice this size. Yeah, and that was a good thing because you didn't waste your time on unimportant fish. And now more than ever it'd be nice because this one your tools break. Massive above large, but that might be the wording for large. I know this definitely isn't massive. I'm pretty sure even New Leaf had like two different sizes of finned fish. 
large for sharks and stuff, and then small for a few different ones. Like, there's a couple small finned, if I remember right. I should go inside real quick and use my storage. Fossils. Sucker fish that is fin shadow and it's a small fish. storage for now too. We'll come back for all that tomorrow on my own time. Northeast corner. Blue Emperor. I already have Blue Emperor. I actually caught one just yesterday. I donated it. Actually, did I donate it? That might actually be the butterfly I put in the uh, storage just now. I caught a flea yesterday too. real quick actually luckily I thought to keep my tree branches in my pocket and not put them in storage your fishing sucks and the switch is dying oof all right, later, Hugo. Hopefully your luck can rug off, rub off on me. You at least got some really good new ones. I don't think I've even caught that dory fish yet. I should check my Critterpedia for that. Do I have that? I'm wondering if I... Should keep paying attention to the ocean. Yeah, it looks like I'm missing a dory fish. I still want to get that arowana though. Oh, okay. That's how that works. It was in that moment that the game yoinked a uh, arowana away from me. <laughs> no, it's fine. It wasn't anything you could really help. I didn't think the game would do it like that. I, I thought it would say, like, please, p 
pull your fishing rod back in or something like that. I thought it would give me that courtesy, but I guess not. Small. Gave up on a river for now, hoping maybe I can find one of those dory fish. Yes, he does. Yes. that spare when I did. Now, since there's tiers of water in can, I'm guessing that that can eventually break. And... That makes me scratch my head. How does that work? Pouring water out of a watering can. And it just explodes into dust. After pouring water out of it like 30 times. Also, something that kind of ticks me off. Of all the tools you can customize, you cannot customize the ladder or the vaulting pole. The, uh, you know, the only tools in the game that don't break. Maybe I want my star vaulting pool. Maybe a later update. fish are called, so I just call them dories. And it's just gonna completely ignore me. Come on. Turn around. There we go. Immediately. And it's a seahorse. Who knows, maybe it's a string fish. Oh, 
Oh, I just caught Hugo's moray eel. Alright, see ya. Yeah, you want it? I'll mail it to you. Can you mail over the internet in this one? Is that finally a thing? It seems like it considering the post office is at the airport. Cool. That's great. I don't know if you can mail fish. You couldn't pass games. Yeah, that would make sense. But this has to be a good one. Come on. Turn. Turn. Not that way, you fuck, fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, just turn ever so slightly to the right. Come on. Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes! I was just about to say safe travels, but the game said it for me. Thanks for joining. It works anyways, because in about like five minutes, I'll think I'll have enough. I'm going to uh, turn some stuff in. Night, Drake. Everybody's hitting the sack now. Now living creatures. Something always bugged me in past games was how you couldn't buy just a single sheet of paper for mail. You had to buy a thing of four and then you're carrying around a bunch of extra papers. It looks like in this one I can just mail from here though. And once again, a fish is sent. Thanks the cloppy. I'm an adult. Ah. Never mind. There we can't yeah, cancel. We tried. I'll just leave it on the ground for next time. Oh, but you can't pick stuff up because it'll say uh, that you can't decorate or anything.
Alright, I'm gonna make some museum donations, and uh, even if he just donated to the museum, he would still have to catch it himself, yeah. Is there actually a reward in this one for getting all the fish? I tried looking that up, and I didn't see anything on it, because I was curious about what the reward was, since the golden tools are now something you have to craft. Oh, really? Oh, the recipe! Okay, that makes sense. Oh, this was part of my outfit I meant to wear. Oops. I had that for a while, too. My saddled bitcher. My frog. That's a common blue bottle. I'll sell that tomorrow. Just for now. Okay. Fossils, right? I've been very lucky so far. I got two gold nuggets this week, or like earlier last week. Within a day of each other. I mentioned this in the chat. I got the first one from a present balloon, and then I got the second one while mining. Well, oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I did talk to- oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe he couldn't talk to me about it because you guys were here. Because he mentioned something about being busy, but then he wouldn't talk to me about it. I'll check that out in a second then. Okay. There's a lot of, kind of ridiculous how many things you can't do while people are in your town. Like, why can't you donate stuff? Are they worried about friends donating to a museum? Just make it so they can't. He was too busy because we were there. Okay. These are rare fossils, each and every one. Oh, all new ones. Nice. The thing is, some of them can be dupes of each other, I've come to find. He'll say like, oh, these are all brand new, but then I could have like two pterosaur tails. Mammoth. Brachio. Ooh! Everything here is brand new. Nine new additions. Because it would require updating the museum while people are potentially inside the rooms where things are being updated. They could kick everybody out to the entrance. I think that'd be an easy way to do that. Or have like the screen, have like a, like that, that circle there close in on them and then open back up and the museum would be updated. Yeah, I guess so. Not entirely like Nintendo to take lazy shortcuts like that, but... At least we have online at all, and it's pretty nice being able to fish with friends and all that. So I can't complain too much. They could also just not have online at all, so... It's whatever. Another drone beetle. Every time I see those, I keep thinking, oh, oh, golden. I probably missed the window for those if they're in this game. All right, let's see what Kirk wants. Why are we doing sexy poses out here? How's my bestie growth? 
It's the latest. You know, the moon is about... What? I'm gonna walk around the Nook Land shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Tiger. I like you. Golden beetles are here and in season because it's summer. You haven't seen many yet there. They're probably a lot more rare. Since they were such a big money maker in the last one, they probably realized, hmm, maybe we should tone it down. Yes, I know my friends exist. There we go, we heard that notification so I can see when I have something actually active. Alright, Nook, it's time to sit on my wiener. This is a construction consultation counter. Before we begin, let me quickly explain the services offered by the in my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. Lots of fun little projects that will make the island a lot more comfortable place. Building bridges or inclines, which, such as ramps and stairs, or even moving existing buildings. Like the night books on trees because they're hard to make out if you don't already have it or not. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. These are optional extras for your island experience. These services will, of course, incur additional fees. Infrastructure, what's this for? Oh, that's the bridges and stuff. Okay. Layout changes. I don't know if I'm going to do anything that drastic. Yeah, I'm going to ask what he needs help with. I should do that now. Well, we've got a fine building for resident services now, and you have no doubt a mind for plaza. Time already for major events, if I have anything to say about started with a desert island and have grown into a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. I have big plans. Oh, got your attention, hmm? Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician K.K. Slider come and put a show here on Nookland. I'm sure you know who K.K. is, yes? I always knew you had exa uh, excellent taste poems. By the way, his song KK Lament is my go-to karaoke song. Sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal. If we hold a KK concert here, Nookland could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but a KK show would be the culmination of our hard work. I'd love to come. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do. At least four or five each stars, that's because of the points they give. Bridges and incline are a huge boost to points for Iron Novel. Well, good thing I plan on doing a lot of bridges because of my setup. This construction, this consultation counter. Project K. Let's plan a minus divide into three main stages. We need more visitors to come to our island. So we need more and more folks to move here. Finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents, and we'll create a clan solo. With how great this island is, we'll reach KK, and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. The first step will increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite. Yes, I can finally start using my amiibos. You can use your experience, and it'll make for great PR material. way more cliffs than he did rivers yeah i'm planning on doing a lot with my cliffs i don't plan on using the inclines anytime soon because um i also don't plan on um 
building anything up in the mountains to the north. I plan on eventually, once I have that shaped how I want, I plan on, it's, right now it's just gonna be flowers. I'm just planting flowers up on the cliffs. And eventually I'll have like a nice shape for the cliffs that I like. But my final plan is that area is gonna be like a big flower field. I'm gonna have my campsite up there too. I want my campsite to be up in the flower fields. I'm gonna have it, I have a perfect spot for it I've planned out. I've been planning for this. Check this out. Okay, campsite, campsite. I need 15 wood, softwood, hardwood, and iron. I have all of that. And then some. What's Isabel say I need? Um, when I talked to her, he, she just said I had, like, different services that she could give me. 13 bucks, um... She said that she has like a nice under uh, under the counter service that she offers. She didn't really specify. But anyways. Iron. Okay, I have everything. Then in her island of Val, she'll mention what you're short on for the next week. Okay, now she'll give me evaluations. Yeah, she wasn't offering that a bit ago, it didn't seem so. I love how I said I was gonna go to bed in the next five minutes, and now here I am like 15 minutes later. <laughs> this game's so addicting. It's dangerous. Yeah, that is true. Get it done. So get this. This is this is the campsite. Nice little foresty looking area. Secluded in the trees. Nice and private. It's perfect. I want to make sure not to fuck it over though. I don't want to mess up the trees so I'm going to make sure to like check it. takes out one tree. I'm okay with that. I can always plant more. Or better yet, you know what? I have any fruit on me? I do. I'm gonna make like a nice little path to the trees. Might be a little too close to the right tree there. This is so perfect. I wanna camp here. Well, I mean, like, nothing like the Mabel sisters or stuff like that. Because I, I wanted this to be, like, a secluded area for the campsite. Like, I specifically had this area planned to be the campgrounds. Eventually, I'm gonna move my, um... 
uh, the playground setup stuff I'm going to be doing up here. And this is basically going to be like the nature area. But yeah, the Mabel sisters aren't going to be up here or anything. I'm hoping to dig up some of those bottom right cliffs. So that I can move Nook sh shop back a bit so it's not so close to my orchard. And I'm just going to nice and everything up. Eventually, I'm going to plant more trees here to make this place look nice and foresty. But yeah, this this is gonna be like a very nature themed area. There's gonna be a lot of flowers and stuff. I'm not gonna have inclines up here until I'm content with the shape of it. Cause I also want it to be less of a pain to navigate. I might have a bridge here, like a wooden bridge. Or something simple like that, cheap bridge. Just so it looks more simple. But yeah, this is gonna be all flowers. And then up here is my bamboo farm. Um, this cliff right here, I want to like move back a bit. And I want this to be the shop center down here. I'm gonna have like the, the Able Sisters next door. This is gonna be moved back a bit. And I'm gonna have like paths, I'm gonna have roads. I have like this big plan in my head. I don't really plan on the residential area being super organized. I'm trying to keep it like a sort of village look over here. Like a, like a simple village. Everything's gonna be kind of scattered about with ro uh, like paths leading to them. Give everybody their own space. And me, being the right hand of our communist overlord, I'm gonna have my private island here with a bridge going up to it here. With an apple tree on it. And some, like, hibiscuses and shit all around. <laughs> I'm gonna have my little, my little private section. This and this, I'm going to keep over here, despite being more, um, you know, businessy buildings, just because I feel like they kind of fit in with the community, like this being like the town center, and this being something people go to to, like, admire everything. So, those are going to be like the two businessy buildings I keep here. I don't, I don't imagine I can move the town center, can I? Probably could. But yeah. I have a plan here. I'm hoping to do that soon. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to be doing. I probably want to talk to Nook before I head off and tell him that it's set. I can't wait to see the spot you picked. Settled, I can proceed with construction. I will have a wonderful campsite for visitors.
Yeah, she's not giving me the option yet for ratings. <clears throat> Should be there tomorrow. Okay. Spend my miles for today before I can. I like this signpost. I'm gonna have to get one of these at some point. Or a bunch of them, I mean. Uh, for Quell. No, you know what you want? Know I'm gonna focus on the sick ass fountain first. things that I bought already. Did I get the sandbox or the playground gym yet? I got the pool. That's what I got earlier. My off oh shit, I'm out. <sighs> I, I shouldn't, I should probably get ready to go to bed. I wonder how much it would cost to move my house. I might do that tonight so that tomorrow I would be ready. I'm also ready to help with residents moving their homes. Yep. Even if you're still paying your loan. Here. Thirty thousand. That's not bad at all. I was expecting a lot more, like a hundred thousand or something ridiculous. Of course, Tom Nook pulling a sleight of hand and sticking construction kits in my pockets. I, you think bridges are 90,000, so fair expectation. My first bridge is going to be over here. That's perfect. And then over here, I can have a nice little garden. My apple tree, like right around here, I'll move it. Perfect.
I really want to go to bed. But I have a feeling about this fish. That's me right now. You know what? Oh, I wanted to get closer to the gnome's face. I give up. <laughs> I was gonna take a stupid picture anyways. I'm like Joel. I spend like 20 minutes setting up a visual joke that isn't funny, and I just sit there all proud of myself. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's time to... It's time to cease. So, all the more reason to put this down so I can do that before he murders me.